Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a bonus video today. My little tag from Piles of Paragraphs on Etsy. My friend Lori came today. So we are going to work on this little tag. So here's all the bits and bits and bits. There's a little fabric. There's several things of trim. There's um, a, a bumpy paper, there's pearl paper, there's a sticker, there's some um, uh, sequins, and I've kept them in the bag this time. Usually I have them all over the place. And then what'd she say about this focal point? Uh, it's from the Metropolitan Museum of Art, Public Domain Images, a portrait from the 1490s. And she's kind of got um, red and green on her dress. So anyway, this is the tag for December. I've turned over Lori's little piece of paper because I don't want to, once again, you know, I try to do my own thing and not be too influenced by the lovely tags that Lori makes. So, okay, first things first, we're going to make it into a tag. <laughs> Always a good place to start, right? So, um, I have no preconceived plan. I have a couple of ideas, but... So my first idea was because there's so much gold, I thought I might use a little Inca gold on the edges instead of Distress Ink. And my Inca gold is a sad situation. It's very, very dry. It's like, I don't know, five years old or something. So I just add a little water to it and mush it around a little bit. And then, and then I'm just going to and I put it on the edges. I don't know, just cause when I saw all the gold, I thought, well, might be an opportunity to use some of my Inca gold that <laughs> that um, doesn't doesn't get used that often anymore. I used it all the time when I was doing mixed media, but. I'm going to put it on the back too, just so um, the back is kind of edged for, even though it'll be for writing. Getting dried. Getting dried. Okay, so that'll be the back. All right, well, I should have grabbed a um, baby wipe, shouldn't have I? Oh, well, that's okay. We can grab one. I say quickly, we can grab one, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I've had a rough start to my, uh, my little thing of baby wipes. It's ever so, they're all balled up in there. Okay, so theoretically, that will dry. Okay, then my other thought was to put some Italian paper on because um, she looks Italian to me. But what do I want to do with the rest of the papers? I'll put that on there. So those couple things are using my own things. Now I'm going to get busy with the with what I have here. I don't know exactly what I want to do, but oh, that looks lovely. I have ink of gold under my fingernails. Nothing like a little brown under your fingernails. <laughs> Oh dear. Maybe this way. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I think I'm going to rip the edge of this. Okay. Um. Oh, dear. I pressed hard on there, and I have just... I've just re-inked my pad. That was probably, well, it's it's easily distressing, let's just say. Um, okay, I'm starting to have an idea here. Ink and think. I swear to goodness, inking and thinking is, is the way to go. <laughs> that just works okay so I'm gonna go around this it's gonna get cut but that's okay I'm gonna go around it for whatever might show and then I think I might just lightly it's embossed like I might just lightly go over it see what it does Kind of brings down the the white white a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm ready to glue a few things down. Maybe I'll I think I'll use glue stick on this and use um, art glitter glue on everything else. Lori always puts together such cool kits. It's like, sometimes I have trouble getting started, but once you just, oh, I'm having trouble because I'm talking and not doing this in the order I wanted. Cheesy peasy. Okay. We'll be re-gluing that. Okay, put that kind of right there. Oops, I just put my fingernail in my glue stick. I'm kind of a disaster. Lori, are you sure you want me showing you your beautiful tag kit? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, then I want to do this. Kind of on the edge there. Okay. Now, now I want to glue this on there. So let's put some more glue on there. Silly, silly girl. Okay. Okay, cut off the excess. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna put a little ink on there. All right, <clears throat> so now we've got her Just deciding. Actually, what I was thinking of doing was putting her on here. On this shiny. I think I might want to take off the white. Okay, let's 
let's hope I can cut straight right there. Okay. I'll use art glitter glue. I don't know. That's a shiny surface. I don't know if it's going to work very well with glue sticks. So we'll just make sure it sticks here. there I put this here ooh but I love this too look at this filmy stuff ooh I need to put that behind her I think or like that yeah this here okay Let's, I'm going to put the sticker on so I can kind of balance. At least I think it's a sticker. <laughs> yep, it's a sticker. Ooh, that looks cool with the book page behind it. Okay. Now, we need to stick down this funky stuff. get a credit card. There we go. Okay. Um, I might do the edges just slightly. Yep. That just kind of finishes it off a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to use my art glitter glue again. Put that here-ish. Ooh, I'm gonna need to hold that down on that um, fibery stuff. Okay, so then I have this or this I could use as a topper. Okay. Sticking okay, little girl. Don't really think I want that. This this could be the top. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Um, I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz tiny, teeny tiny attacher. And put that on. Oops. Make it straight and in the middle if we can. Oh my goodness. Don't know if that's straight, but yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and then I'm gonna just do this kind of in a little V and attach that, hopefully. Yes, there we go. I feel like I need a little more glue right here under her. Well, that's right on the corner and it's right on a piece of fiber, wouldn't you know? So I ended up with the fabric left. I ended up with a little shiny paper and a little trim. 
I normally, that's a nice thing is Lori gives you plenty to work with. Oh, maybe we want to do something with these. Hmm. Having the thought. I don't know, I have my little die cut flowers here. I was just looking to see. I don't have a lot left because I've been using them. Kind of like that one. And I was thinking of using the sequins. <clears throat> Let's see. I always like these much better when they're We'll make it and then we'll decide. I'm just going to put one of the big gold sequins and then maybe a copper one would be cool. I'm gonna pop that in the middle if I can hit the middle. Okay. And I feel like the copper would lighten it up a bit. So let's do that. Okay, and then what do we think? Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's put that on there. Lori says in her instructions, add whatever you have from your own stash that you'd like to use. So I think I'm going to do that. And then it's across the room, but I might put a little dot of gold stickles right in the middle to cover up the glue on that... Um, on that little uh, sequin. So I think that's it. I think we did it. I think we did another tag of the month. This would be December. Let me push it up here to the camera. So there we go. How fun is that? Thank you, Lori. Thank you so much for including me in this, in this fun endeavor that you came up genius idea. I have told her many times. I just think the tag of the month is really a fun idea. So you can go on over to Piles of Paragraphs. I'll have her Etsy shop link in the description box below the video and you can pick up this December kit. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.